THC syrup, filling up the cup, tipping up the bottle. I love the way it's dripping. THC syrup, filling up the cup, tipping up the bottle. I love the way it's dripping, tipping, tipping up the bottle. I love the way it's dripping, tipping, tipping up the bottle. I love the way it's dripping, tipping. THC syrup, filling up the cup, tipping up the bottle. I love the way it's dripping. Right on. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, B. Tay. What's happening? It's AK. And I'm um, Saint Tay. <laughs> Shizzle. We, we're rhyming motherfuckers in here. <laughs> yeah, brother. Shit, we don't even have to try. Our names just do it for us. Shit. The motherfucking Midwest <clears throat> Tuners. For Shizzle. Up. Yeah. Yeah, and if you didn't know right now, now go to MidwestTunes.com. We got all kinds of Second Amendment shirts uh, on sale right now. Uh, well, they're not on sale. They're just for sale. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But the whole point of <laughs> yeah, this is, might be. I tried to run promotions on Facebook, I tried to run promotions on Twitter, and they won't let me run promotions because they're Second Amendment. So, you know, uh, it's, it's a little bit shitty there, yeah. yeah. There's nothing vulgar, there's nothing outrageous about them, they just say Second Amendment hmm. um, with a gun on them. <laughs> but put abolish at the top of it. Right, you know, it's just nothing but patriotic t-shirts and It's fucking such, bullshit and, is what you know, it is, man. Yeah, everybody loves patriotic stuff, and we're trying to push it out there, but we're getting suppressed, man. Done shut us down on fucking Instagram. Apparently, we're doing something right. Some haters, man. Right. Yep. We're not so, even doing nothing wrong. No, <laughs> we're just trying to be an entrepreneur, you we're know? Just talking shit, yeah. Yeah. I'm they just tired of going to work money, every day. You know? Right. Yeah, man. What's just up? being honest. Fuck me. Well, even if I wouldn't go to work, I work every day. Well, that's my point. Right. All day, every day. I'm busy. I got too much shit to do. All right. I was up till Don't midnight we last night trying to figure shit out. Well, fr- you know, fried my brain. Woo! I fried my brain last night, too. <laughs> yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> got a gnat in this bitch. Yeah, I know. This motherfucker needs to go. All right, though. What do we got? We were supposed to have a guest today, and... Uh, yes, we were. Yeah, unfortunately, because of some family circumstances, uh, we don't have one. So, we're just going to... Good circumstances, though. Yeah, good circumstances. You know, shout out to Juan. Uh, you know, we're going to get back with him. But next week, next week, I think it is, what's... Adam Andres. Adam Andres. Adam Andres. If he doesn't show up, you know, oh, then you see him, you got to harass him a little bit. I just can't check the schedule, because... It's oh. on my phone. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, yeah, anyways. But uh, Frank Alvarado, the weekend after. And then... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Or, huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got people lined up three Who? in a row. Jason. Oh, fuck. Well, it'll be two weeks after that or whatever. All right. So... I, was, I thought I was scheduling people You need here. to post the goddamn schedule. <laughs> it's on my phone. <laughs> Let's let's make a let's make a schedule post. Let's post it to the website. Right. Okay. Everybody can see that shit. Okay, man. Sense. Make a post. Make it right. a live schedule, yeah. You need like a calendar picture and there we go. That way community can harass the people not showing up. Yeah, see, this, there this, you go. this shows you how organized we really are, showcase. guys. Right. Well, we're just cramming guests in here. We're just like, hey, hey you're, you're cool, come on over. We got a lot of people that say they want to get on, but they don't uh, you know, in the end want to, I guess. It's all right. Right. Whatever, man. Don't hurt my feelings. Me neither. Still gonna do the damn thing. All right. Show must go on. I'll just sit in the chair. <laughs> what? I said I'll just sit in the chair. Yeah, man. Well, so well, now we're kind of winging it, right? Since mm. our guest got canceled. We wing it every time, though. True. Right. This ain't nothing different. So I'm gonna start this shit off and just talk about this right here. It's kind of cool. Oh, we don't have a damn TV on. The Allen wrench is beside you. <laughs> <laughs> that is some ghetto shit. Oh. Yeah, check this out. I like it already. It's not <laughs> what you think, though. Read it. Some fungi create zombies, then control their minds. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What fungus is this? Right below it. If you can pronounce it. The tropical fungus... Anaconda syptus. Anna what? What? Anaconda. Ophisondic syptus. Uh, Ophio. 
core cordyceps. Yeah, either way, we're going to have to put that on the fucking... Not sure how you got anaconda, bro. I think I just came up with a new... Well, first off, I can't see. Second off. I came up with a new segment. We put big words up and we try to pronounce them. <laughs> there we go. You trying to make me look dumb as fuck, man. Oh, dude, I can't pronounce Well, it either. infects ants, the nervous uh, system, right? Central nervous system. By the time the fungi... Wait, by the time the fungi been in the insect's body for nine days, they have complete control over the host movements. They force the ants to climb trees, then convulse and fall into the cool moist soil below <laughs> where fungi thrive once there the fungus waits until exactly solar noon to force the ant to bite a leaf and kill it that's wild man that's some good fungus that's some crazy ass shit dude yeah let's, let's uh this what the motherfuckers be getting a hold of like, this is what humans. they're doing in wah or uh, the wuhan lab bro they'd be injecting right, people fucking... weird shit yeah man watch shit well they did the what was it the experiment on the spiders they gave the spider caffeine <laughs> acid cocaine and co- yeah oh, i've never THC. seen that oh dude it's yeah. crazy the shit that I it would make cool. the so acid said, patterns just all over the place said, yeah the, really? the, the, <clears throat> the weed patterns not yeah. even finished it's just like started and they're like eh. <laughs> yeah they said the the spider on thc sat in a hammock and watched everybody freak out <laughs> that's what he said <laughs> Yeah. Uh, sounds like a, a special set of circumstances to so get this like, to happen. So, like, is the ant conscious during all this? And, like, trying to fight? <laughs> fight the fungus off? Yeah. Oh, like, so I then there's, like, a superhero <laughs> ant. The rest, of the, the ants, no idea. the rest of the ant's family think he's possessed and shit, so they're starting to, like, you know, do right. an exorcism and shit. Oh, yeah. Beating him with the Fuck, ant Bible. Know, man. Right. Next thing you know, he bites a leaf and rips his own head off. <laughs> <laughs> falls to the moist fucking mossy grass below while the fungus devours the rest of his body and shit. But Sounds I don't understand why a fucking ant, though. Like, why Why does it make it do that? Just climb a fucking tree and then it jump to his death. Well, obviously, the, the to fungus... To fall into the soil the more, fungus maybe? Is, the weight of it? The gravity pull? Look look and see if the fungus is a, a, a kind of a You know what I'm saying? Is it Does it consume the ant? Is that the whole purpose of this shit? Well, right, to make more fungus. Right. Is it, make, does it eat the fucking decomposing body of the ant? Right. And that's why I figured it makes it climb a tree because... Right, because Venus flytraps is the same way. They're carnivores. Right. They eat fucking flies. They literally eat them. But either that the, plant right. that makes the leaf they bite is either the only plant and it's up in a tree or... Well, maybe that fucking leaf pr- produces the moss that produces the fungus below it. Right. And it's a cycle. So if we poison you, then you true, go with man. The, the fucking the ecosystem, antidote, you know, you know what I mean? Dead. Right, exactly. It's just as bizarre to me. I never. No, that's pretty crazy, though. Yep. Can it infect humans? In big enough doses. It only it only affects carpenter ants and no other species. What if you take like a ton so, of this moss and you boil down, you boil the shit, and then you take the extract? And then you inject it into somebody. Like make it into a concentrate? And yeah, exactly. Concentration. I mean. Enough of it, you know what I mean? You sound like a scientist. Well, that's probably what, you know, I'm like Dr. Fucci. I'm trying to follow in his footsteps, you know what I'm saying? Get on Craigslist, <laughs> look for you know, guinea pigs. That's fucked up. They're going to shut us down. It's talking too much. <laughs> they figured it out. New psychedelic Dude. moss. Come I don't. I haven't figured. It. I haven't found anything about it. If it eats ants or not. FDA you know? approved. <clears throat> That's crazy shit. That's all I got. I guess you're gonna have to do your own more inf- uh, research if you want to know more. Wow, making them do the work. We're getting real lazy. <laughs> right. But, I mean, that's all we got, though. I wouldn't. I don't have anything else. Yeah, I mean, we're bored wanna, with this. Let's if you want to fucking continue the education, it'll be at an your own cause. Are any of these tabs being used? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jesus. There's like 40 up there. Well, that's the <laughs> thing. That's the way to do that's it, That's that though. Kentucky bluegrass that I oh, told you about. Okay, you I got know you. What I, mean? I, thought, I seen 90 Chevy up there, and I'm like, oh, oh this guy just I ain't closing Kentucky out windows and grass shit. was weed. <laughs> oh, yeah, look. That's huh? a fucking dewy. I thought Kentucky bluegrass was weed. It's grass, fool. Oh, Check that truck out, though, grass. Man. It's bluegrass. Like, driving through Kentucky, like, 12 the G's grass on the side of mountains, this shit's like blue. It's fucking weird. Good looking truck for 12 G's. 
Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't pay 12 G's for it. No, I'd probably give him like nine. <laughs> I wouldn't give him shit. I'd give him four grand. Steal it. I don't care what kind of condition it's in. It's a fucking but mid-90s no, it's... Chevy pickup truck. <laughs> fucking brand new, though. <clears throat> See the trucks nowadays? You can't even buy a fucking truck for 12 grand. It's like... With no rust on it. Man. Sentimental value, I get it. That's what I'd say. You start off like an eight, you know what I mean? All right. Never give him full price. Seven, whatever. Kentucky bluegrass. Yeah, you guys want to talk about that? I don't know. If fucking that's the cheaper than carpet. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Just roll that bitch out in your yard, and you're good. Oh, that's actual turf. Yeah, I got you. This is what it looks like. This is what I'm gonna have in my yard. Fuck yeah, cheap. Fuck fuck party there, first case. one out, lay down. Oh, this is so nice. <laughs> yeah. So we do. We'll, will. we'll get your yard all figured out, and then we'll do a. We'll get the the wireless mics and do an outdoor. Yeah, episode there we go. Your yeah. New remodeled front yard. Remodeled. Front. Fuck yeah, we'll do we'll camera looking out at the street. Yeah, Maybe yeah. somebody will be on a high speed chase that day. You know what I mean? We'll get lucky. Well, yeah, it happens, might be. It happens yeah. quite often around here. Fucking people. There was one right across <laughs> my fucking house. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they went down the fucking hill to get on the main street. <laughs> uh, that's a that's a fucking hill. I don't know if anybody's seen Bryan, Ohio, where Main Street's at, but there's fucking it's built up with uh retaining walls. It's like twenty feet. So this motherfucker <laughs> had to go around in other people's yards <laughs> to try to go. Yeah. He's like, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, how do you make it? Like fucking a couple miles up the road. Cops didn't. The cops didn't follow. They turned around and went the other way. They're like, fuck this idiot. Yeah, they wouldn't have made it. They'd have been fucking disabled. <laughs> like, hey, there's a road over here. <laughs> Pretty fuck. much. He won't make it. Turn around and go. Yeah. Well, they did because he drove, I don't know, five the, blocks and bailed. That was the guy that shot the fucking, the fucking. Uh, no. Hot dog stand, right? Hey. Pence's. Yeah, Pence's. Yeah. It wasn't the same guy. No. It was a different time. Yep. Fucking. Oh, you're talking about Ramirez. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just recently, <laughs> that dude. The year the the year before he had the fucking cop cruiser wrecked over by the fucking the manor uh, uh, apartments. Uh, what is it called? Uh, oh, is that the guy that Portland Manor? <laughs> Portland. The fucking cop car was all crashed in the road, like on that ramp, like that. Remember that shit? We'll, we'll get a picture of that up. I'll send you a link to that shit. But is there? Is what the fuck's that... he doing? Like he's just out causing havoc or what? Wasn't that you know, the guy that, though, with. he, like, went around the block, like, four times and then ran into the woods and disappeared? They couldn't catch him. What that, was that? Just, like, a week ago? One, no. Oh, no. This is a couple months back. Oh. But, like, he was oh. over here fucking broke into his ex's house and shit. And it then, might have been. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Terrorize his family. Yeah, and but he keeps, like, up. coming back it's every year moron. and then escapes or some shit. <laughs> Just for the thrill. Something. Just for the police chase. Gets out know. of jail and goes right over there. Yeah. Gets, right back to some dumb it. shit and fucking goes back to jail. Oh, no. They didn't catch him. Oh, they didn't? He oh. went to Marissa. He came, they ca- he, then he came back and they caught him. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dummy. Yeah. <laughs> Went right to the same place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got away, but oh, I didn't know. Yeah, we'll come just back. wait. He's coming right back, you dumbass. Fucking moron. He's the type, he's like, I'll wait a month. They'll never know I'm coming back. <laughs> They'll forget. Oh, fuck. The best one is if you go to CCNO. It, like, I haven't been to the CCNO bookings page in a while, but usually when you look in there, there's at least one fucking guy that gets arrested for some dumb shit. Then they release him on OR. And he fucking is in there two days later or the same day even sometimes. For, for the same shit. For fucking breaking the restriction or the fucking, the TPO. You know what I yeah. mean? The fucking You fucking idiot. Order. We gave you this chance, you right. idiot. He's, <laughs> within 12 hours, you got the same guy in there twice looking stupid the second time. Like, hmm. It's like, huh. What the fuck? Uh, I tried, bro. They gave you a bond, bro. I don't yeah. know if you know what that means. Go sit your ass on the couch. Yeah, it means you're still state, you know, pr- state property, but... They're just going to let you sit at home instead of putting your ass in jail until right. they try your ass. And still, you're out there doing the same bullshit. All right, I'm go right back over and break that protection order. Right. What do you think is going to happen? They, they literally, when they give people ORs, the cops got them fucking paper stacks on their fucking, boom, sitting there right there. Yeah. So when something happens, they're like, oh, Jesus, this fuck. here we go. And they know it, too. Yeah, bring the backup cruiser. We're taking this asshole to jail. Yeah. It's not he the broke, first time. Right? You you're know not supposed I mean? to be anywhere near. He's out in the front yard yelling at her. 
or whatever. That's usually what happens. They don't even file that paperwork when the judge gives it to them. They just put it in the top of the stack. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be over in a couple hours, probably. Yeah. I'm fucking driving yesterday. Fucking 60 mile an hour down the back road. Some lady fucking decides that, you know, she's going to pull out in front of the person that's in front of me. That, you know, like fucking five car lengths or whatever the fuck. Oh, stops. So that person hits their brake. I hit my brake. And then she goes to pull out in front of fucking me. And I'm like... <laughs> you can't see? This is a big-ass truck coming at you. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? You can't see it? Yeah. Well, it's always the people that fucking cut off people are, like, pulling trailers and right. semis. You and know? Pulling out in front of somebody and then driving yeah. 40 mile an hour. It's like... <laughs> that's my thing. If you could wait gonna, two seconds to yeah. be slow. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to pull out in front of me, make sure... Well, that's half the problem. Motherfuckers don't know how to judge speed and distance. Like, oh, oh, he's back there. I'm good. Well, yeah, if he's doing 30 mile an hour, it's going to take him a minute. But if he's doing 60 mile an hour, it's going to be twice as quick. Exactly. Yeah. But then they turn right away, too. And say, you fucking idiot. Yeah, that shit is irritating as fuck. Oh, I'll rear end somebody. I don't give a shit. I'm fucking, I'm tired of it. <laughs> so, we got this fucking fight coming up tonight, right? Right. Um, Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather. And I'm, I'm just going to start it off like this, all right? I don't like Floyd Mayweather, and the only it. reason is because he has no humility. You know what I mean? He's, he's just one cocky little son of a bitch that, you know what I'm saying? He hasn't fought the right guy. Whatever. He 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 selects his fights very well. I'll say that. Yeah. Um, I do think that uh, Logan Paul doesn't necessarily deserve the chance to fo- to fight Mayweather because Mayweather is a fucking legend, whether I like him or not. Right. You got to earn that fucking... You can't just jump to it the second fucking fight in, you know, or third fight, whatever it is. Exactly. And with that said, look at the size difference of these two men. This is all for money. Right. And nobody should buy the fucking tickets. With that said, I probably will. (laughs) Just because I want to see it firsthand. But the difference is is I hope fucking Logan Paul walks out there and fucking knocks his little ass to fuck out. And, And just only for the simple fact that I think Floyd... Mayweather needs some fucking humility in his life. <laughs> That's what I feel. Oh, damn. Look right. at them implants. Huh? Also, he doesn't have anything to lose either, Jake, Jake Paul. No, that's you not. It's that Logan is. Paul. It's his brother. Uh, Jake Paul's the one that stole his hat. He's like, gotcha hat. <laughs> <laughs> that's his brother? That's, well, his, that's his older brother. Brother fucking looks the same, you know? Yeah, they look identical almost. I don't know. You can. I don't know. I don't follow these guys know, right. enough to know who the fuck look. is who. The only reason why I know who this guy is because he fought the one guy, David Robinson. Yeah. Er, no, no, Nate, that was Jake. Nate Robinson. Jake fought him. Oh, Jake fought him? They're both yeah. fucking boxers? Yes. Oh, They're shit. They're both YouTubers <sighs> that have used their fucking popularity off of YouTube to wiggle their way into opportunities like this, right. which that just makes them great entrepreneurs and self-promoters, right? That's I No hate on these motherfuckers for that, even though I think there's some corny-ass fucking white dudes, you know what I'm saying? But... Whatever. Right. He's fucking yeah. hilarious. You snatch fucking Floyd Mayweather's hat off his head. <laughs> yeah, and you say, got gotcha. your hat, bitch, and runs. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. That's just fucking That's great. G shit right there. <clears throat> no, but uh, you could try to fact check me, but I'm pretty sure his beard is fake. Yeah, from like here up? Yeah. Yeah. From where? He, he, oh, he, from here up. He's got implants. No shit? Yeah. That's what I should get, man. Fill this in right yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. How much got, those cost there, Jake? He's got that Logan white Floyd. trashy beard, Fucking too. Logan. Right. What is his name? No, it's Floyd. Logan Paul. This Floyd's Logan. the one Logan that don't Paul? have a beard. Or Logan. Yeah, Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather's the one that has the fake beard. Why the right. fuck does this guy have two first names? Oh, Logan. Mayweather's got a fake beard? Yes. Oh, I thought fucking. That's why I was correct. Two you. first names in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, but but for real though, um, and I, I think Logan people underestimate. Paul. I think people underestimate these two dudes. That can, they're they're not great fighters at all. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, they're fresh, but and they want to fucking prove their points. They so they have gonna... exactly. They got more training than your average asshole. So I think they can oh, knock yeah. out your average guy with no problem. But oh yeah, sticking them in fucking rings with actual fighters is. <laughs> Something else. If I can go up to the street, punch a guy, and like, you just punch me? Right. Yeah. Well, they're fighting right. a legend, so they're going to find out. You know what I mean? Right. And Floyd Mayweather, like, I'd say if this was an MMA fight, Logan Paul would walk in there, pick Floyd Mayweather up, drop him on his fucking neck, and it'd be the end of it. 
we'll see. It's a too. boxing match. And it's I hands feel like, and hand speed. You know what I mean? Right. I think Floyd. He's Floyd's fast as fuck. He can right. hit that bag hard. Right. But at the same time, I think look at the size difference. He hits him with a fucking hook. It's over. But see, that's the thing though. I don't <laughs> think he's gonna pull his right. punches like McGregor was doing. Oh yeah, yeah. Because that shit was well, plain as day. He there was so many times he didn't right. even touch him. Right, and th- that that shit, that whole yeah. shit's irritating too. Because he's in there all like fucking I took out dancing McGregor. around, you know. If yeah. it was an MMA fight, McGregor would have hurt him a long. Oh, yeah. They wouldn't have went in that far. Right. It, we, no. He wouldn't have made it a minute. I don't think yeah. he would have been better like, than I thought. Ah, you know? ah. Well, McGregor kept turning around, <laughs> and I don't know. It was just I don't. Call for security. I still guys. think Manny Pacquiao whooped his ass. If you watch that fight, there was the they. The I'm fucking, a Manny Pacquiao the, fan though. That's what. I mean, yeah, I, I get you. If you watch Floyd Mayweather's fights, like. He was getting beat up by fucking Manny Pacquiao, or and uh, who else too? Somebody else was hurting him, and the fucking it remember. was like it was like a little LeBron, a little, a little fucking LeBron James move, you know what I mean? Like the whole fucking oh, something did, oh, oh yeah, one of those situations, you know what I mean? To stop it every time he's getting hurt. Yep, he's not stupid. Get a breath, fucking whatever. My fucker you know, can't read a book. Knocked out. Yeah, <laughs> he can't read a Dr. Seuss book, but the motherfucker's not dumb. You know what I'm saying? Why read when I could pay somebody to read for me? Right. <laughs> like, who, who that fucking dumbass we were watching night yesterday? Trippy Red. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time somebody fucking showed me how it Oh, no, that shit was funny, though. Like, don't spin it too drop. hard. He is <laughs> funny as fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah, don't spin it too hard. He was like, he's got that fuck stupid this thirty dollar like. wheel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Does the crowd want me to do it? <laughs> yeah. I don't think he gave a fuck if the crowd wanted him to do it. He had that look in his eye, like I'm fucking ruining this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. This bitch it was trying to tell me what to, to do. Fucking <laughs> words she was saying. Now yeah. don't fucking spin this too hard. We're gonna have to but load sh- that clip up. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you should have made your board a little bit better, bitch. <laughs> I'm trippy red. All the fucking. It was, it was just fucking. I don't tell know. me what to do, bitch. But you see how she made it though. She took them fucking <laughs> folders that were open on the top, on and yeah. the fucking paper slid in the top of it. She what do you think's to, gonna happen when you yeah. spin this? She wanted him wheel. to go. So it went around a quarter turn or something. Yeah. He's like, but that's how he started. <laughs> that bitch. Fell off, man. <laughs> he was like a cat testing the toy for the first time. He just yeah. touched it and he's like, oh, I need to do it faster. Yeah, right. You're probably right, though, on the Wheel of Fortune thing. That's yeah. what he was thinking. I seen this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I seen it. You got the toe, didn't you? Bitten on the toe. Oh. Uh, um. But what uh, I think was something else we should talk on it before is uh, the whole thing with Jake Paul, his whole claim to fame as far as getting in the fight fighting situation here. Him and Dana White don't like each other. I think it's more or less Jake Paul don't like Dana he's White. Shitting on Dana White. And I think Dana White hates the fact that he's calling him out. You know what I mean? Uh, he ain't trying to give him no publicity or nothing. But Jake Paul's whole claim to fame on this shit is that Dana White's basically fucking Puff Daddy and all his fucking fighters. Not paying them shit, letting them starve and shit, holding them into the contract. You can't fucking perform for nobody else other than the UFC. You know what I mean? Squeezing these fucking, these guys that are putting their lives on the line. You can walk in there, get hit wrong, and your life's over with. Just like that. Yeah. Paralyzed from the neck down. Well, that. Uh, duh, 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 the rest of your life. You know what I mean? It can yeah. happen. And if it does happen, they're not protected. Yeah. And that's what Jake Paul's whole claim to fame is. But he made that claim to fame after. He got into the tanglement of people calling him out, fucking being a punk. So it helped his his uh, his fans or his, his followers or... and his narrative for the whole situation on how to get in. But he's not wrong though, and I think that's why Dana White fucking gets off because he is. He's that's a rich motherfucker. Well, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? also but, yeah, that they've they've started it's been going on since the, 90s. the bare knuckle boxing is starting to actually get really popular because the uh, the first one went through and they were able to prove that. Getting punched by a fist versus a glove, there's less force impact, and I forget, but it's like every time you get punched with a glove, it's like getting hit by a car, you know, so fast. Well, because yeah, the surface area is the size of your head, and I'm punching you versus using a little piece, and then the blood and shit would make your hand slip off of the person's face, so your force of impact isn't nearly as hard. Which I think if you're going to invest, something to invest into would be bare-knuckle boxing because the exact same thing has happened with that that happened with the UFC back in the 90s. Right. It, nobody would support it because it was too brutal. Yep. It was too much, you know, it wasn't, and it went against fucking martial art 
most martial arts thinking. Oh, yeah. But at the same time, that's that's what martial arts is, figure out who's the best. You know what I mean? Not other than self-preservation and, you know, control and all that bullshit. In competition. In competition, correct. So I think the same thing's going to happen with that. If you're going to invest some money, invest that money in some bare-knuckle fucking shit because eventually it's going to get to the point where you're right. It's going to be just like UFC. It's not too brutal. People right, are like, fuck right. it. Let's see what happens. Yeah. And it may take a year, but you're already invested. So. Well, I mean, it might take 20 years because True. look how long it took UFC to be yep. fucking big. Because well, there was other mixed martial arting events there, before that. Dana White just be the happened to be the guy that was good at marketing. Right. Well, their first match was like three, four years ago, the bare knuckle one, like to get sanctioned to be legally allowed to do it. Mm-hmm. And now, like if you just type in uh, bare knuckle boxing, I think it, there's it's all types. Of, well, no, it's, it's a sporting oh, event. For real? And there's all types of fights now that you can find on YouTube before. All you could do is find the, the story basically. And it was just the one arena fight. And I had like, I'm pretty sure it was stone cold was sitting in the crowd. Stone cold, Steve Austin. Uh, I think, if, uh, Kurt Angle, I'm not positive, but there's a couple of fucking celebrities in the crowd supporting these guys. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was pretty cool to watch. But then there's like the, uh, I don't know if you guys ever watched Medieval Fighting, but it's set up just like the UFC. What? I keep seeing shadows underneath the door there. I think somebody's out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not thinking ghosts, bro. I'm thinking seeing some shit. Thinking kids, bro. Yeah, yeah there's probably, probably kids out there. No, but like the the medieval, like arena st- style fighting, they put on full medieval gear. They get their swords and their shields out. They get into a boxing ring, and they beat the living fuck out of each other. But these guys are got like their swords are like not even using the swords. They're taking their shields and checking motherfuckers in the throat with them and shit, knocking right. them out. I mean, it is some brutal looking shit dude and imagine having a metal helmet on and somebody just <laughs> going bing, bing, bing. yeah your, your <laughs> head's gonna shit. hurt <laughs> <laughs> and then they do like uh 30 verse 30 matches and the one i was watching <laughs> fucking dude goes to hit a guy with his axe and the fucking axe head comes flying off and shoots past the guy that's filming and oh did you see that the axe went right through the tent like dude you just about <laughs> got killed <laughs> I caught that with your face. Yeah, but that shit was crazy. What was, the, what was that show called again? What? No, this is real shit. You can look it up on YouTube. It's just medieval battles and shit. Oh. It's like the Olympics for like medieval fighting. Well, they had a show just recently that was kind of like, um, it reminded me of Forged in Fire, but they had, it was medieval fucking reenactment. Like you actually went out and battled. Oh really? The rest of the show, you had teams. No, I didn't <laughs> see that. Yeah, you had cool. so you get different weapons every time. You had to make it to the championship, like fighting with his all this, this gear on. on. It was on the History Channel. Really? Oh no, I check that out. That sounds cool. How about this? <laughs> no say. In the comments, for all the viewers, what do you guys think about having duels with single shot paintball guns? Like old west duels, ten spaces back to back. Oh, you want to do speedball? See, I'm okay with that. Bro, no masks. That'd be cool. No masks. No, no masks. Yeah, you gotta have a mask I'm on. I'm doing nah, a mask. Fuck that. Yeah. Put safety glasses on. You'll be fine. Nope, I can't get shot in the eye. I'm, I'm too fucked. fucking old for that shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting a fucking DVD case in my front of my pants too. <laughs> the fans want blood. I'm trying to get shot. In the <laughs> what if that bitch shattered, bro? <laughs> You know how them bitches fucking break? That's true. That'd be hurt. Across man. the fucking t- uh, the front of it, and it it doesn't break all the way. We're gonna have to move. go get jock straps. Get something fucking caught inside that shit. Yeah, we're gonna have to wear nut cuffs, bro. <laughs> yeah. Let's wear an extra pair of pants. Just steal a couple fucking old masks for us that are in the <laughs> trash. Okay. You remind me of fucking going paintball the other day when Doug got hit in uh, hit in the dick and it didn't break. <laughs> That would fucking hurt. Oh, Dougie Fresh is out. <laughs> fucking Jeff Bezos and fucking Amazon as a, a corporation and as a whole, right? Did you guys see this shit that I said? Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. I've been paying for Amazon Prime for like fucking five years straight, okay? Every single year, that shit goes up in price, okay? 
the whole purpose of me buying the Prime membership is so that I had access to Prime warehouses, right? So that I could get Prime items in the Prime delivery time, which is 24 or two fucking days, 48, yeah, hours, 48 hours, right? Go on Amazon right now. I don't know if it's our area of the woods or what the situation is, but you can't get nothing delivered to your fucking house in two days. I know. I canceled my trip. It's like, well, even if it says Prime, boom. It's like you, you go to your shipping schedule, a week. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's fine. Fuck it. But I can buy that shit somewhere else, Over you know what I mean, and get it here at the same time frame. So why, do I, why am I paying for Amazon and like, their fucking subscription? But what's funny, though, is... Like, I canceled my shit, and I don't have Prime no more. And then I bought something off of Amazon. I got free shipping on it. <laughs> so why do I need fucking Prime if it's free shipping? And I got it within five days. All right. So fuck, fuck Prime. Exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking about, so fed up with fucking Prime, dude. Yeah. It was cool until the damn pandemic right, And that's when I say, oh, Corona. Fuck that. I don't want to yeah. hear that fucking bullshit. Your motherfucking business boomed in fucking this shit. And don't tell me you, you can't deliver my shit in fucking time. Well, that's the warehouse thing. I don't want to hear it. They're building one in Toledo, motherfucker. That means the shit's booming. I, I, you know what I mean? Give me my shit or I, give me my money back. I think Amazon and Walmart <laughs> made like one billion over the right. pandemic. And the, what, what online? Who's people buy shit yeah. from? Walmart, because you can go pick the shit up that they don't have in the yep. store, and fucking Amazon because they drink it right to your fucking door. In our area, if you live in the cities and shit, they'll deliver it If you live in Cleveland, you. you get your shit right away. Yeah, they'll deliver okay. it to you. That's fine. People in Cleveland might want to pay the Prime membership, but well, around here, we should at least get a fucking discount. Well, that's what I'm saying. We yeah. shouldn't have to pay the same as them if they're getting that extra benefit that we don't receive. Exactly. And then they want to have they have the gall to send me a fucking a business Amazon account, right? And I go in there and look at the... But, there ain't no fucking benefit for me to being on that shit because your shipping fucking blows. Right. That's If I want some shit, I should be able to get it. That's why, but you can, you can't even select different type of shipping. That's the problem. If I order some shit online from, if, it, if I go to our website, midwesttunes.com and buy a shirt, you can select your own shipping if you prefer. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can get it flown in there. I can get it in the mailbox. As soon as it's in the mailbox, you can get it there on an airplane. You know what I'm saying? You can't even have that option on Amazon. That's what irritates me. But, yeah, yeah I'm done you, bitching. If you desperately needed it, yeah. All right. I just I had to get it off my chest. Right. All right, well, because yeah. I bought some material. Somebody purchased some shit from us, and I had to, I had to build the shit. Right. It was a big order, uh, but suddenly I can't get my shit for a week. You know, that's a fucking problem. It's the same items I used to buy, for, and I get them in two days. Right. <clears throat> Fuckers. Bro, See what? Our old babysitter, when she wouldn't come outside... Because of the grass. Gloria. Oh, yeah. She used to just scream at us oh, from the... She wouldn't come man, outside. Man, that bitch was psycho as fuck, she man. She refused to go outside into the that grass. That was the worst fucking... That was like Matilda, like the, the lady that Ooh, ran the Matilda. orphanage. Like, that, that was her. That lady dude, fucking... talk about horror, horror stories, man. Like, I all remember right. the one kid you know how th refused to eat his fucking hot dogs that were all cut up, and he threw them in the sink with his plate. <laughs> and then I ate all my hot dogs like a good boy. And I go to put my fucking shit in the sink, and I walk away. Well, then she goes up to do dishes and sees these hot dogs and starts screaming at me. I'm like, well, what's going on? Come here. Fucking start shoving these fucking hot dogs down my throat, dude. I'm like, what dude, the fuck is you, going you, on right now? You know how you, when you feed a dog pills, you put the pill in their mouth and you <laughs> shut their mouth shut? Well, I was a fucking hyperactive kid, right? So, like, I, they were trying to put me on, like, you know, like, fucking, the, 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 the fucking right. crazy kid medication, right? I don't even know, Ritalin, some shit like that. I think yeah, I was on Ritalin. Like well, you know how, how you do that shit? You know, you put, put, this bitch is, like, rubbing my throat, fucking smacking me, trying to get this shit down my throat. I'm like, ah! Well, in the end, you got to put it in the pancake or some shit. You know what I mean? No, not her. You fucking open up. Fucking abusing all the kids. And then there's this poor bastard. I ain't going to say his name, but he sucked his thumb. And I know he, he lives around here. But anyways, he sucked his fucking thumb until he was like fucking 14 because of this lady, dude. He And that's the problem is his parents thought he wouldn't just stop sucking his thumb. No, he's traumatized because of the babysitter, dude. Yeah. Stop. Wham! You know what I mean? Like, this but bitch we, is we were just ruthless, crying. Dog. We were just making shit up. 
Right. <laughs> I didn't, and that's fucked up because I didn't think about any of this shit until just now. I ain't thought oh, about I'm it in sorry, fucking bud. 30 years, dude. I don't forget <laughs> shit like that. Are we still on this shit? Because I got all kinds of shit going on here. What's that? Oh, the, yeah. We're, let's go back into it. Sorry. Story time over. Still got to do your fun I fact for the day, you motherfucker. Talking about Getting tortured by our babysitter. Yeah, how did you how talk did, about that? Oh, she bought me a T-shirt that had a school bus on it, gave me a Bible, <laughs> gave him one that had a T-Rex. Why did I get the school bus and he got the fucking T-Rex? That's what I want to know. That's fucking bullshit. How are we talking about this? How did we get talking about nah, this? No, when I think about it, it pisses me off. I'm <laughs> saying, how did we get talking about it? Because oh. she, she was like one of those munch. Munchenhausen syndrome ladies, dude. She was fucking Oh, talking up. grass, grass. We're talking about allergic oh, to grass. Oh, yeah, the grass. Right. And, like, dude, and I remember, remember this shit in her backyard. <laughs> there was always, like, spleens. And remember that shit? Spleen? There was always, like, guts. Yeah, because like, the husband would gut fish and animals right there or what? Dude, and now, it, dude, I ain't thought about this shit in so long. Like, why? Why was there always guts in the backyard? Like, cats, <laughs> dead cats and shit back there. Were we eating cats? I don't know. What the fuck? You guys hanging out with Chinese people or what? Dude, that's really fucked up. Because I'm, I don't I'm be gonna back pretend there. that didn't happen. Right. And go go play on the swing right and be I'm fucking you slide and you got fucking spleen what happened. and guts on your shoes. We might have been eating cats. <laughs> Only she she cut the pizza with scissors, bro. Yeah. <laughs> what? I was, remember that? There was some weird shit that went on. <laughs> Who does that? There was. These oh, people are fucking crazy, I remember, man. too, uh, Santa Claus brought me a remote control motorcycle. It was badass. And then she took it from me and gave it to her nephew or her <laughs> fucking grandson. I was like, what the fuck? Santa gave me that. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Yeah. Mom finally had enough. Like, I think she was finally like, I don't think the boys are lying to me anymore. And, like, went in there and fucking had to light her up. It was fucked up. Like, this bitch is crazy. <clears throat> yeah, we didn't go there for much longer. I remember one time we threw a stone. Jacob Diller's brother, Clayton, I were out there. That was me, actually. <laughs> I, I threw a stone at a car going by. Fucking, the guy was pissed. Oh. Like, we got in trouble for that shit, too. But anyway, yeah. Got to get away from that shit. I used to hate it. You guys would get on the school bus. I'm like, I'm stuck here with this crazy bitch. <laughs> Watching you guys get on the school bus. Like, I, help me. I used to Don't think, leave me. I used to think LMNOP was a letter. <laughs> what? <laughs> and you say your ABCs, right? <laughs> I used to think elemental P was one letter. <laughs> That's because you would sing it. <laughs> exactly. Elemental P. I'm like, what is an elemental P? <laughs> we haven't learned that letter yet. Oh my God. Right, it fucked me up though in reading. <laughs> That's, dude. <laughs> That's how fucked up my brain operates, even at that age, man. <laughs> well, Jesus That's how you me. break the equipment. <laughs> yeah. Back in action here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, I had something lined up and I lost it because of the fucking mic. It scared me. <laughs> Thought I was getting smacked by the fucking babysitter. <laughs> I'm like really musically oriented with shit, you know what I'm saying? So when I'm trying to sing the ABCs, the elemental P sounds like a letter. I couldn't. Well, that's what I'm what. saying. You're like, man, <laughs> we, we learned K, but then they went straight to Q. When are we learning the elemental P? Yeah. I'm confused. <laughs> and the person that told me what it was actually was Clayton Diller. <laughs> Dude, he was, he's oh, like, you don't know, man? <laughs> that's what he said. It, 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 he had to have been in like third grade or something, you know, fourth grade or some shit. I'm like, what's an elemental P? He's like, it's it's a bunch of letters. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. like an equation? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Clayton, Clayton. Dude, I was in like, kid, I was like, like fucking five, four or five years old, dude. <laughs> Remember that shit. I'm struggling. Uh. So, what's your fun fact for the day? <clears throat> Open that drawer and give him one. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, you do the drum rolls, right? Oh, <laughs> oh you mean with the? Oh. Huh? You don't get to pick the fun fact no more. What? The fun fact picks you. Candles will burn longer oh, whoa, and drip whoa. less. What? You stolen his thunder. What? He's supposed to read it. Oh, here. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It sounded like a good one. <laughs> Can you read? A lot of fucking words in there, dude. <clears throat> I 
Candles will burn longer and drip less if they are placed in the freezer a few hours before using. That's useless information. I'm sure, you know, 200 years ago that was some fucking useful information when they didn't have freezers. When it was made out of fat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like fucking Souders Village candles and shit. Here's another one. Fuck that one. Well, I want to build a fact wall out of those Snapple caps. I think it'd be cool. That would be cool. A, a pineapple is neither an apple or a pine. It is a, in fact, a large berry. It's a big fucking berry. That's what she said. <laughs> Another one. No, it's not. Go check out MidwestTunes.com. Just added a bunch of inventory. We're going to be updating it every day. Uh... Pick out a shirt, you know what I'm saying? Help to uh, support the cause here. Uh, we're doing big things. We're going to be trying to get into the fairs here. We got hats coming. We got bags. We got shirts. Um, what else we got? We got something else. These stickers. Nuts. We got all kinds of window stickers, too. <laughs> if you want a customized window sticker, one of a kind, something, get at us. Email us, midwesttunes at gmail.com. Uh, if you want to check out and go to our mailing list on the website, you can go ahead and check out all the videos right directly on MidwestTunes.com also. Check them out, guys. All right. Check them out. Get at us. Uh, check them out. We got anything coming up for uh, upcoming music or uh, videos, right? We talk about we're going to have. Well, we'll be doing something. We're in the discussion of what we're going to be doing, but we haven't. Came up with a full-fledged plan yet. So. Right. So if if you guys out there, anybody out here watches this podcast that also listens to our music, if there's a specific song that you would like us to make a video to, go ahead and shout it out in the comments. You know what I mean? Uh, we got all kinds of shit to work with. So yeah. discography keeps growing. Go ahead. You want to support us that way, go to the website, you know, buy some music. Right. right, yeah, check the music out and tell us what songs you like so then we can make videos to make them twice as entertaining. Right. Yeah. If you want, we can give you links to any platform. I know sometimes it's hard to find because there's a couple artists got similar names, and uh, search engine engine optimization sometimes is a pain in the ass. Right. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't always work in our favor in all platforms. But nope. If you want those links, ask. We'll give them to you. Or go to MidwestTunes.com. All right. See you next week. Peace out. We got Adam Andrews on here. Adam Andrews. I'll let you. Okay, please. Tipping up the bottle. I love the way you drip it. Tipping, tipping up the bottle. I love the way you drip it. Tipping, tipping up the bottle. I love the way you drip it. Tipping, THC, sir. Filling up the cup. Tipping up the bottle. I love the way you drip it.